This love is like the ocean that's crashing over me. It's like falling rain on the driest plains, as far as eyes can see. And this love is like the trees that are looking down on top of me. This love is like no other. It's right where I wanna be. Nobody loves you like I do, and I never want them to. Nobody loves you like I do, and I can't. This love is like the church bells. And so congratulations, Michelle and Jonathan, for really answering the call. Again, this is not something that you both thought of. This was something that God already planned from the very beginning. It's like a little girl holding daddy's hand. But, you know, Michelle, this is mostly for you. Right? This guy says he's going to love you. He's going to love you until the day he dies and beyond. No joke. So I'll show you straight. Here she is now settled down. I think that's why John almost fainted at the wedding, you know. Because I wouldn't want to throw up to marry Michelle, too. Because who knows? Michelle's a strong woman, right? Bring God into the picture. Because again, it is God that will hold you firm. It is God that never changes. It is God that endures. And lastly, renew your marriage vows every day, even when you have a headache. I didn't think there was anybody that could tame John and make him change his ways. But if there was anybody who could do it, it was Pablo Vizzi. And when he told me that he was going to propose to you, I said, Bart, that's the one. And I knew that these two, they put their heads together, they can get anything done. And so I wish the best of luck to the both of you. Renew your vows every day. Father Paul said every day. <laughs> I, Jonathan, take you, Michelle, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times 
and in bed, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life.